Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the Horner XL4 user interface. And the first thing that uh, we should take a look at is from the manuals, you can see that the Horner is a very versatile uh, HMI that we can use in our programs. You'll see that we can use start stop, uh, push buttons, laid push buttons, um, we can use a, uh, a gauge, we can use trend, um, bar graphs, um, numbers, percentages, we set alarms which we'll look at later. We have um, objects that we can put onto this screen that will change pages. So there's a variety of different things that we can use and display and because the HMI is incorporated within the, the PLC and all the logic and the I.O. and the networking, it's very quick. So our update times are extremely quick. And we'll look at uh, configuring of those update times as well. So you can see it's very versatile here. I can also set numeric inputs as well as ASCII uh, inputs on this display screen. Now if we look at the screen navigation itself, we can we go back to our previous one where we talked about bits and in there we have um, bits called system registers and the these are registers that are set aside internally for specific functions and this particular one SR1 is the user um, screen so this is the current user screen number that's being displayed at the time that we, we read it so that's under SR1 so that'll be part of the program also we have alarm screen this is the current alarm screen number that's being displayed again um, we can look at those at any time also when we talk about alarms we have SR181 and SR182 that indicate the presence of unacknowledged and acknowledged alarms so again a couple of registers to keep in mind we also have uh, display um, bits and these display bits here um, will allow us to turn flags on and off. So the best thing to do is we'll call up uh, Seascape and our software and I've already um, connected to our PLC and I've actually downloaded the program or uploaded the program I should say from the controller using this button here. It will upload and show you uh, what we have in the controller right now and this is the default program that comes with all Horner XL4 uh, controllers so what you'll see here is if I hit the uh, the switch screen 5 it actually comes up and there's my display bit for page number 5 and it's actually a switch screen so it'll show up in SR1 we have a 4 screen that we can also do and the four screen will actually overwrite anything that's displayed on the screen and show this one um, itself. So you also notice here that we have SR001 and it's moving the value 2 in there so it's actually moving uh, page number 2 into the screen so it can be displayed. So if we were to um, actually stop this and then start it again on our screen you'll see that the screen automatically then starts running the program all automatically again and displaying uh, page number two and we'll take a look at page number two in a minute so there's a bunch of bits in here that we can actually turn on and off and make uh, our display do whatever we want now in order to actually see the actual display there's a, uh, a button up here called view edit screens as soon as we hit that it will come up and pop up and if we go to screen number two there it is right there doesn't look like much but if we click on it okay and actually then double click you will see that this is my animation properties and there's my frame number zero and as I increase that frame you can actually see the um, the animation that we just looked at when I cycled power onto this controller. Okay. Now a couple other things in this uh, uh, view edit graphics pages we can take a look at the display so if we go configure and display settings 
you'll see that we can take a look at the screen priority. So we have faster scans by moving it down and it will allow for a smoother transition on your screen or we can um, increase this all right, so that your um, it takes a percentage um, of the scan time and it will allow that to do the graphics. So smaller values reduce the overall scan time, larger needs to speed up the screen updates. We also have a function called touch sensitivity. So when an operator comes and touches your screen and when he touches it, it's and he needs to hold that button. It says how long, how big is that touch screen that it doesn't indicate that he's removed his finger. So sometimes the default is a little too sensitive so we can adjust it in this setting right here. The alarms. Again, we have alarms and the alarms can be set for anything we want. Um, they will pop up as a series of colors and uh, indications on our, our unit. We also have re removable media and the removable media actually will actually go right into the side. There's a memory card and on that memory card we can store recipes, data logging, videos and um, a lot of different other stuff that we can do with that. So you can refer to the operation manual and the Seascape software for more information on all those different features. All right, that's it for now. Um, now, if you found this uh, video helpful, please give us a thumbs up so it helps other people find this information. Also, um, you could subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And if you go over to our website at accautomation.ca and sign up for our, our weekly uh, updates, what you'll, you'll notice is that you can download a couple different uh, ebooks free of charge. All right, thanks for watching.